Hi students, this video is going to be a quick overview of the personal branding unit and kind of outlines the learning outcomes and the goals of this unit. So personal branding in general is the way that you brand yourself and the way that you're seen by potential employers either online or in person. And this is really important for emerging professionals who want to enter the business world. You can really get ahead of the competition if you have a good idea of who you are and you have a self-awareness of what skills you have so that you can market yourself more effectively. So if you know what your strengths and your weaknesses are, you can identify these unique experiences and skills and tell the potential employers that you will have what you can bring to the table. So it's a really important skill to brand yourself and then be able to articulate who you are to potential employers. So in this unit, you're going to have an elevator pitch, the professional skills inventory spreadsheet, two job ad analyses, and a growth plan, an application letter. There are also going to be two extra credit opportunities that go well with this unit if you choose to complete them. So the elevator pitch is basically a quick little spiel about who you are as a person. And the way you'll complete that is you're going to create a Digication ePortfolio through our Blackboard shell using a template that I provide. You'll follow the instructions in the prompt and create this ePortfolio. And then you'll kind of talk about yourself on the About Me page and, and pitch yourself to the people who will be viewing your ePortfolio. This assignment is based on completion, so if you follow the instructions in the prompt, you should be just fine. The Professional Skills Inventory is a spreadsheet that you'll fill out using your skills and experiences that you've had throughout your life. And it's basically a way to translate the experiences that you've already have in a way that will be valuable to employers. The next deliverables are two job ad analyses. Analyses is the plural of analysis, so there's two of them. The first one, you're going to find a job advertisement that is for a job that you are currently qualified for right now. So maybe an internship or something a little bit more entry level. Then um, you're going to analyze that job advertisement to figure out what sort of skills are important to that employer. The second part of that is the dream job ad analysis. And for that one, you're going to find, you know, job that you would really want in the future maybe making six figures or maybe it's in a really cool place um, but it's something that you want to work towards that you would love to achieve further down the line in your career you're going to do another analysis and rhetorically analyze that job ad for the type of skills that they're looking for then you're going to apply everything from the elevator pitch, the professional skills inventory, and the two job ad analyses in the growth plan. And the growth plan kind of helps you look back at everything and take stock of the skills that you have now, and then has you make goals for the future in order to develop the skills and experiences that you will need to have by the time you're applying for your dream job. So it kind of helps you to see where you are in your career path now and where you want to go in order to achieve the goals that you have. The last thing that we're going to work on is an application letter. So you'll leave this course having a really strong and effective application letter for future employment opportunities um, so that you can jump right into applying for internships and jobs right out the gate. So I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, be sure to read the prompts and watch the videos that further explain the assignments in Blackboard. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.